Well, hey guys, I know everyone is getting summer ready in terms of their skincare, so what better time than today to share with you all an Asian sunscreen review video. You're gonna see some of my old favorites in this video. I know I have a lot of new viewers, so I'm going to refresh your drink on what some of those sunscreens look like, feel like, why you might wanna consider them. And I also have a handful of new sunscreens that I've been trying out from brands I love. Some of them I've had my eye on for some time. Others you guys have pointed out to me and said, hey, can you please review? So buckle up. All of these sunscreens you can find from Stalvana. Y'all know I'm a huge fan of shopping at Stalvana and they are kindly sponsoring today's video. Stalvana, if you're not familiar, it's basically a one-stop online shop for all of the trendiest Asian beauty products. They deliver a wide array of affordable beauty products worldwide, as well as sharing with you the latest tips and secrets in beauty. Stalvana also recently launched these kit sets, the Stalvana family kit sets, and they are targeted at different skin types and they are a great value for those of you who are already avid skincare lovers or you know just to replenish your skincare staples in a more affordable fashion if you are interested in these skincare sets they will be linked in the description box and if you use my code you can save 15 percent off the vana family kit sets speaking of savings if you make a purchase before june 5th you can save up to 22 percent off your style vana order with my discount code inf10 dr dre basically that code will get you 12% off your entire order, but if you spend above a certain threshold, you can get 22% off. Now that is only good until June 5th. After June 5th, however, my code will still get you a savings. After June 5th, you can save up to 15% off of your Stylevana orders. All of the details are gonna be in the description box in terms of the savings breakdown, so look there and everything I'm talking about in today's video will be linked in the description box. Skin 1004, 1004, which is it? I've been saying Skin 1004 for the longest time, but recently I heard people saying Skin 1004. Y'all know I am a huge fan of Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Hyalu Sika Sun Serum. Frequently makes an appearance in my sunscreen empties video. Very hydrating, chemical sunscreen. There's no cast. I mean, it's really moisturizing. It has compounds from Centella in it, which are helpful for healing. They're also you know, loaded with antioxidants, which can help combat at oxidative stress upon exposure to environmental stressors. And I love this one because it's easy to tolerate around the eyes. It doesn't burn, it doesn't sting. But they have a few other sunscreens from this brand. And one of them I really have been intrigued about for some time because of the ingredient profile in terms of what it is offering. Tone Brightening Tone Up Sunscreen SPF 50. Now like the Hyalu Sika one that I love, this one likewise is free of fragrance, free of essential oils, which I love. I don't like fragrance in my sunscreens. Oh my gosh, this has such a unique ingredient profile. This is a hybrid sunscreen, as opposed to the High Sika one, this is a hybrid sunscreen, meaning it has mineral active ingredients and it has chemical active ingredients in it. This also is tinted. And the tint comes from iron oxides, which for those of you who are looking to fade hyperpigmentation, those iron oxides are beneficial because they may offer some protection against visible light. The sunscreen actives are there to protect you against ultraviolet radiation, which of course leads to sun damage and hyperpigmentation. But there's another aspect of hyperpigmentation that's driven by visible light, light that you see with your eyes. And that visible light comes from the sun. It's not something you have to worry about like from lamps and things, but rather mostly from the sun. And studies show that sunscreens with iron oxides can help in fading hyperpigmentation and deeper skin tones um, better if they provide some protection against those wavelengths and that can come from these iron oxides. But something really unique about this is that it has tranexamic acid in it. Tranexamic acid is a medication that's given orally actually as a treatment for melasma. And it's, it, it's thought to work for melasma by targeting the blood vessel component that leads to the hyperpigmentation. Now, to what extent it's beneficial for hyperpigmentation applying it to the skin, research is actually growing in that area and suggests that yes, it can actually be beneficial for hyperpigmentation when applied to the skin. And it's also also helpful for those of you who deal with redness. So this particular sunscreen 
you know, not only can be beneficial for hyperpigmentation, but also for redness prone skin. It has niacinamide in it, another ingredient that is known to be beneficial for helping to clear and prevent hyperpigmentation, as well as anti-redness properties. It's good for the moisture barrier and is an antioxidant. As its namesake would suggest, this has compounds from centella, which are anti-inflammatory and antioxidants. This has sodium hyaluronate, the salt of hyaluronic acid, which is really good for hydrating the skin. It's a hybrid sunscreen, so it has titanium dioxide, which is the mineral active ingredient. It also has juvenal A+, which gets really good UVA coverage, juvenal T150, and iscotrizinol. I get requests all the time, please recommend more matte sunscreens. Please recommend more matte sunscreens. Everything that I like and recommend tends to be on the dewier side. This is a matte sunscreen. It is, it, is, it is matte, but it's not cloyingly drying like a lot of matte sunscreens I find can be. The tint on this is actually a little bit on the peachy side. It's not a, a brown or tan tint. It's more of a peach tint. For that reason, I actually think this sunscreen works best for people who have a paler skin type, just it, you know, in terms of avoiding the appearance of a white cast that you're gonna get from the titanium dioxide and the overall tint of this, it, it kind of ends up making it a bit casty, to be frank. And for that reason, I actually think that this sunscreen ends up being a beneficial one for those of you who maybe have a paler skin type that is prone to redness. Initially, I was going after it with all, you know, looking at these ingredients from the perspective of, oh, this is gonna be great for hyperpigmentation. But the cosmetic, aspect of it I think is going to be better appreciated by people who have a pale skin type prone to redness because these ingredients will also help with redness. Not to say if you have hyperpigmentation, this won't be good for you, but if you have a deeper skin tone, I do think you know, you'd be better off with the Hyaluseca one. That one leaves zero white cast. I also decided I wanted to try the Skin 1004 Air Fit Sun Cream Plus. Now, unfortunately, this one has fragrance, which y'all know I don't like fragrance in sunscreen, um, and it has bergamot oil in it, which I don't recommend in sunscreens. Um, but I wanted to try it just to see what it looked like. Uh, you know, I wanted to see how the cast was in comparison to the tone brightening, but the cast coming from the Airfit Sun Cream Plus ended up being better. It's not cast free, but it's not too bad. Um, this one also, you know, like the namesake suggests, has centella in it, which is anti-inflammatory, um, can help calm down irritation, may help with uh, the moisture barrier. It has niacinamide, which is good for redness and hyperpigmentation. And it also has sodium hyaluronate, a humectant, which is good for moisture retention. Coptis chiniensis root extract um, is very humectant rich and has antioxidants, anti-inflammatory compounds. And I really love that ingredient. And honestly, I'm thinking to myself, like that might be what is responsible for the really nice finish that this particular formula gives. It's not shiny or greasy, but it's not super matte. It's just very nice and smooth on the skin surface. Um, however, I, you know, I don't care for the fragrance. Of the Skin 1004 sunscreens that I have tried at this point, what is my favorite one? It's still gotta be the Hyaluseca. So yeah, I'm gonna be leaning into that one a lot this summer. I don't know about you guys, but that is a favorite from this brand and one I highly recommend. I don't know why I've been sleeping on this because it's been out for a while. It is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Pure Mineral Relief Daily Sunscreen SPF 50. This one's fragrance free, which I love. Essential oil free, which I love. It has niacinamide in it and good for redness and hyperpigmentation. Ceramides, good for the moisture barrier. Rice bran oil, a nice emollient. This is a zinc oxide sunscreen. It is a mineral sunscreen. Doesn't have any chemical, or aka organic UV ingredients. Uh, the zinc oxide, it's to be expected, it's gonna leave some degree of a cast, but I have to say the cast is pretty modest here, and I really, really like the formula here. I mean, this is a moisturizing, yet non-greasy sunscreen. It, it, it's wonderful. If you have rosacea, very sensitive skin, I highly suggest this one, especially for those of you with rosacea, because it has niacinamide, that's good for the redness piece of things. It's very soothing. It, you know, it doesn't have common irritants in it, and zinc is typically well-tolerated. 
tolerated. For those people who have rosacea, um, it, it's typically well tolerated. Plus, it's typically well tolerated around the eye area, which can really be a, a stumbling block for a lot of people. Tolerating sunscreens to the eyelid area can lead to burning and stinging. I have to say, every sunscreen I'm talking about in today's video, I get no burning or stinging around my eyes, but that can vary from person to person in terms of what you tolerate. And a lot of times it's those chemical filters that burn and sting. This one has no, no chemical filters, really easy around the eyes. If you are in the market for a zinc oxide sunscreen, SPF 50, definitely try this because the cast is not too bad and it's, it's very soothing, very moisturizing. Now, if you have a deeper skin tone, zinc oxide sunscreens will leave a cast. Um, you know, this one's not as bad as some, but it, it's definitely gonna leave a cast. Of everything that I've tried that's new, that we've just got, gone over, I really like the ingredients in the Tone Brightening Tone Up sunscreen, but if I had to pick a Skin 1004, it's always gonna be the Centella Hyalucica. That is my go-to. Um, but I, I am not mad at the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice. All right, so y'all know, Obviously, I pointed out at the beginning of the video, there is a good discount code. So what else would I recommend if you're looking for um, Asian sunscreens? So I've got to say, when it comes to the look, the feel, uh, the elegance, the Asian sunscreens are, are nice. Uh, not greasy, not oily, uh, easier to tolerate around the eyes. They tend to have skin soothing ingredients. I mean, they're really well formulated. If you're not familiar, if you haven't tried the Isentry Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel, oh my gosh, I discovered this, I think two years ago at this point, I wanna say maybe a year ago. I'm starting, you know, time is starting to like jumble around in my head. Um, this is fragrance-free, essential oil-free. It has hyaluronic acid. It's creamy to apply, but it absorbs into the skin pretty quickly. It's a chemical sunscreen, octisalate, homosalate, tinosorb S, tinosorb M, Uvinol A+, and Parcel SLX. It's got ceramides, so it's very nice for dry skin, eczema-prone skin, for addressing the moisture barrier. Also, people who have acne-prone skin benefit in that regard. Speaking of acne-prone skin, this has niacinamide, which I've talked already about in this video, you know, being good for redness and hyperpigmentation and the moisture barrier. It's also, you know, good for anti-aging, but it's a good ingredient to support the skin of those prone to acne breakouts. Centella, good for healing, recovery, and it has an antioxidant that is quite a mouthful, astaxanthin. I have a whole video about astaxanthin. Astaxanthin, an antioxidant to help combat against environmental stressors, the, the free radicals that they generate that you know can create a cascade. Um, things like ozone can trigger lipid peroxidation in the stratum corneum, the top layer of the epidermis. If you're like, what is stratum corneum? What is epidermis? Help me figure that out. I have a video as a side note on how skin works and we go into all the layers of the skin and, and you know what they do. So definitely check that video out. Living in a polluted area can cause issues for the skin, lipid peroxidation, which triggers an inflammatory cascade throughout the skin. And for people who have certain skin disorders, namely acne, acne, eczema, there's an association with worse skin disease uh, amongst people living in areas with more pollution. And, and so there's a lot of interest in the role for topical antioxidants in helping to, in helping to mitigate some of that stress to the skin. This product though, it's, it's very moisturizing. And I've always enjoyed this because just from a, the aesthetics of applying it, it's, it's it's one of those that you don't even realize you're putting sunscreen on because it's so moisturizing and it feels very good going on. So it's comfortable to apply and it spreads on the skin very easily. That's it. You know, that's a real issue I have with some sunscreens is that they, they're a little too clumpy, sticky. They require too much effort to spread on the skin. And I, I know that that facilitates haphazard application with skip areas on areas that you just don't end up getting any sunscreen, which is not good. Speaking of haphazard application, um, let's talk about sticks because Isn't Tree has a sunscreen stick. They're hyaluronic acid airy sun stick. Now stick sunscreens are very popular for like reapplication. Um, they're uh, something that parents like to use for children because they're a little bit easier to get on them as they're wiggling around as opposed to rubbing in a cream. However, the thing you need to know about sticks is they are very prone to skip areas. 
passes. So when you use a stick, you need to do multiple passes back and forth on the skin to get a good layer. And then you need to actually physically rub it in. Now, what I really like about this is the shape of the applicator. You have a narrow part here, which is good for reapplying around the eyes. And then you have a wider part here to reduce the risk of those skip areas as you're spreading all around larger areas. This is free of fragrance. It's super moisturizing. It's a sunscreen that has antioxidants, including niacinamide and astaxanthin. It has ingredients that are good for the moisture bearer, namely ceramides and hyaluronic acid. So check it out if you are in the market for a fragrance-free sunscreen stick for reapplication, but make sure you do multiple passes. It's tear shaped. It's got a wide end, which is good for larger surface areas. And then it's got a real narrow end that you can work into like around your eyes. So this may be one that you tolerate around the eyes better and you like using it for touch-ups. This also, I, I've used it a lot actually as a lip balm, works well as a lip balm. It's kind of a versatile uh, product for reapplication. Great to throw in your bag. Um, it's very similar to the hyaluronic acid sun gel in terms of ingredients, uh, but it's a stick form and it's it's spread. It's not a stiff stick. So it, it, once you you're spread, it, spread it over the skin, it glides onto the skin nicely dispensing a good amount of product. It's not like you're getting skipping, dragging of the stick across the skin. Some can be too stiff. Um, it has niacinamide in it, which we've already talked about. It has astaxanthin, again, hyaluronic acid and ceramides. As far as the ingredients, homosalate, octinoxate, octisalate, tinnosorb, S and Juvenal A plus for sunscreen ingredients. This is a great one to just have in your bag. Don't rely on the stick alone. You always wanna have a good base layer on, but you know, as a, an addition to your sunscreen habits, this is a good one to consider for a stick. Now, y'all know I'm a huge fan of Beauty of Joseon. I mean, that brand has really, you know, got a lot of hits. Uh, the Relief Sun Rice Plus Probiotics SPF 50 PA 4 Plus. Again, a fragrance-free, essential oil-free, sunscreen. What I love about this is it has um, lactobacillus and pumpkin ferment filtrate, which are ferment filtrates enriched for antioxidants, humectants, hydrating ingredients. And I find depending on the formulation overall of a product, they can really end up not only helping with moisturizing the skin and, and, and actively helping the skin, but they also tend to make the formula feel better. I don't know how, what it is about maybe the viscosity or something. They tend to give a little bit of smoothness to the overall product. This one has niacinamide in it again. Tea leaf extract, another source of antioxidants. As far as the sunscreen actives, we're talking Juvenal A+, a great filter for UVA protection, Juvenal T150, Tinosorb M, and Iscatrizinol. It's not greasy, it's not shiny, it's not matte though at all. Uh, and it, it works well under cosmetics. Those are Korean sunscreens, but I have two Japanese sunscreens that I need to talk about because I love them so much. First one is the Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Milk, fragrance-free, essential oil-free. This one is a hybrid sunscreen. It has chemical active ingredients and mineral active ingredients, or organic and inorganic. It has uh, zinc and titanium dioxide. It also has Juvenal A+, and octinoxate. Now there is a slight white cast to this depending on your skin tone. For me, it's not noticeable, but if you have a deeper skin tone, zinc and titanium dioxide uh, likely will show up. There's no niacinamide in this. I know some of you don't get along well with niacinamide and pretty much everything up until this point has had niacinamide in it. The Skin Aqua does not. It does have sodium hyaluronate, which is good for uh, improving the moisture content of the top layers of the skin, and it has collagen, a humectant that likewise can help with improving hydration. This is a nice lightweight fluid liquid sunscreen, easy to spread on the skin, easy to apply, easy to tolerate around the eyes, at least for me. It does not feel oily or greasy. It's, it's a really good one. Uh, it has a, I would call it a demi-matte finish. It's not a full matte, but you're not getting that shiny dewiness with this product. And last but not least uh, is the Canmake Mermaid Skin Gel UV SPF 50. I have been using this for a long time now and it never has let me down. It is such a good everyday moisturizing sunscreen. This is a sunscreen gel and I'm pointing that out because if you have facial hair, this goes into facial hair really well. It is a hybrid sunscreen. Screen. It has zinc and titanium dioxide. It also has octinoxate and juvenile A+, uh, and tinosorb S. So you get 
organic and inorganic sunscreen actives. For some people, you may find that there is a white cast to this, but for me, there's no cast whatsoever. This has phytic acid in it. Now, phytic acid is an antioxidant, so it's gonna, again, help with uh, combating against environmental stressors, but phytic acid also very gently helps with improving skin cell turnover. So you get a little bit of gentle nudging in the exfoliation department with phytic acid. It's, it's a really good ingredient. Um, no niacinamide in this one either. It, it has hyaluronic acid, similar to the others. And it also has another outstanding humectant, alpha-glucan. So it's a really moisturizing formula, uh, but a gel, so fast absorbing. It's a gel, but it doesn't have low molecular weight alcohol, which some people find is a bit too drying. This is not that way. So if you have dry, sensitive skin, but you want a gel, try this one out. Also works out well if you have oily skin or combination skin. All right, y'all, that is a wrap up of the Asian sunscreens. I hope this video was helpful to you all and you know, maybe pointing out some that you weren't familiar familiar with, um, going over some of the ingredients and helping you to pick one out. Take advantage of my discount code from Stalvana. Again, if you order before June 5th, you can really save the most. Thank you, Stalvana, for sponsoring today's video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.